Have you been tetricized? Nintendo! Tetris has joined the long line of classic video games to be getting a full length motion picture. Joining in the ranks of great video game films as Super Mario Brothers, Double Dragon, and of course, Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. Now, Tetris is a respected property, and I wanna make sure that this is the best film that we could possibly get on the big screen. So I'm gonna give three ways to make the Tetris movie a good movie. Number one, you have to use the Tetris video game music. It is essential. That's not all, you can't just use that, you gotta use Sugar Plum Fairy. That's what I remember from the Tetris NES version. And that other one that What? You even gotta use that weird trippy music. Definitely use the Tetris music, you can do it in the original 8-bit style, you can remix it or dubstep it or whatever, but it's gotta be in there, that is key. Number two, at some point it has to be set in Russia. That's only fair, the game came from Russia, from Russia with fun, the whole movie can be set in Russia, or we have to travel to Russia at some point, we gotta be in Russia. It would not be a Tetris movie without Russia. And the number three way to make the Tetris movie a good movie, you can't. Why is it even getting made? This makes absolutely no sense. Tetris? Hi, I'm Andre, I'm a black nerd, and I'm angry! Ah, I'm bad, bitches. There are so many video games out there, tons of video games, full of enriching stories, wonderful, deep, complex characters that you could pull from from any system, from the 8-bit days all the way to current generation, and you choose Tetris? Really? I'm sorry, was Burger Time not available? There is no Legend of Zelda movie. There is no Bioshock movie. Dig Dug doesn't even have a movie, but Tetris. Earlier it was announced that they were gonna make a Space Invaders movie, and at least that makes sense because it's in the title. Even Call of Duty would have been a good movie. You could have just taken the movie Fury that's coming out with Brad Pitt, erased Fury, and just wrote Call of Duty. We wouldn't have known the difference is a war movie. War movie, Call of Duty, done. Tetris does not need a movie, okay? It needs a five second cameo and then Adam Sandler Pixels movie that's coming out. We do not need a full length Tetris movie is stupid and here it gets stupider. The thing is, they're not even really doing a Tetris movie. Instead, they're doing an action sci-fi epic inspired by Tetris because that worked well for Battleship. Did you see Battleship? Oh, that's right, you didn't see Battleship. Case in point. They probably already, already had this movie written. This is probably an action sci-fi movie that they've had in the pipeline for a long time, could never get it sold, and then somehow they just went, well, you know what, we'll buy the rights of Tetris because everybody remembers Tetris because nostalgia, and then they'll slap it on the top. They probably even change the movie, they'll just slap it on the top, and it's everywhere where they have Alien, they'll just write, Tetris. But hey, it makes sense to use the Tetris name to make an action sci-fi movie because clearly there are no video games in the entire library and history of video games that are sci-fi action games that you could make into a movie. Destiny? No. Tetris. Galaga would have made more sense to turn into a sci-fi action movie than Tetris. Freaking Battletoads would have made more sense to turn into a sci-fi action movie than Tetris. It's from Threshold Entertainment and they were the same people that brought us the Mortal Kombat movie and that was the one video game movie that we found tolerable. Okay, great. They made Mortal Kombat, but they also made Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Just because you can strike gold once, I mean you can strike it again. For every Turtles 1, there's a Turtles 3. Let me tell you something else about Threshold Entertainment. Threshold Entertainment also owns Threshold Animation and Threshold Animation are the people behind the amazing film Food Fight. Let that sink in. I haven't been this upset since I heard there was a movie called The Paperboy and I found out that it actually isn't even about the actual video game Paperboy. I wanted to see Zac Efron riding a bike and being chased by Ole's and rolling pins and break dancers. Tell you what Threshold or whoever is making the Tetris movie, do whatever you want to with Tetris, but you leave Dr. Mario alone. You do not touch Dr. Mario, and you stay the hell away from Yoshi's Cookie. What is the one video game that you think is absolutely impossible to make a movie out of? And I bet you they'll find a way. Thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Tetris Chomp.